Hi, my name is Sandy Devec, and in this episode of Money Inspiration, I'm going to be writing a list of moments in which I had magical superpowers with money. The point of that is to help remind me every single day that I have created magic when it comes to money. And I'm not talking about magic like pulling a white rabbit out of a, a hat or cutting a woman in half. I'm talking about moments when weird stuff happens that you can't explain logically <laughs> and when a situation totally changes and transforms. So I got the idea for this after seeing a post on Facebook by Leila Black, an internet marketer. It really makes me laugh and inspires me. And she did a, a post about this contest she'd entered a few years ago where she had to actually walk on a stage in just her swimsuit and some shoes. It wasn't a beauty pageant. But she did this to show some sort of um, nutritional program that she'd been on. And she said that it was one of the hardest things she'd ever done because she wasn't particularly confident about her body at that time. And a lot of the people doing this were smaller than her. And it really was something quite tough. But she did it. And she said the fact that she had, had gone in her power vault of moments that she always remembered to help her remember that she's stronger than she thinks or, or something like that. And that gave me the idea to do this list because I thought, wow, if I was always remembering and connected to the moments in my life when I've done crazy magic stuff with money because I have had those moments and I'm sure you have as well, then maybe things would change uh, in a more of a magical way than for most people because it's quite easy to forget that and to just think, you know, the only way that money can come to you is through hard work or through hard labor and blah blah blah. But actually sometimes weird magical stuff can happen, especially when you know that it can, right? <laughs> so with no further ado, I shall give you my top five list of magical moments with money. You can also read them down here if you want but very quickly number one I remember at university my entire experience was shaped by financial struggle <laughs> quite literally I went to university twice and each time I was totally broke uh, so broke that I, I actually had to borrow money from my flatmates on more than one occasion just to, to eat food and I worked all the way through university I basically supported myself had a tiny bit of financial help from my family but not very much and I did work all the time part-time and I did volunteering but I just never had any money I was studying in central London it's a pretty expensive city anyway cut a long story short I was really struggling at one point in my first year and just really quite upset about this constant struggle with money and suddenly I remember checking my online banking and I couldn't understand what had happened because suddenly there was 400 pounds in my account from a weird company I'd never heard of and I googled this company still didn't make sense who they were or why they'd given me money and I was actually thinking about calling the bank and telling them that they'd made a mistake and then I remembered that I had had to walk to the place I was checking my internet on because I couldn't afford to get a bus. <laughs> and I thought, hang on a minute, maybe I should just use that money and if they ask me for it, I will give it back. But if I don't, then, you know, find us keepers. So I kept it. And the same thing happened nine months later at another point when I was really struggling for money. So I'm eternally grateful <laughs> to those mysterious companies that deposited money into my bank accounts because it came at a really great time. Number two, I fast forward a couple of years, a few years after that, I was working for a human rights, women's rights organization. I had no money again and I hadn't done anything with my taxes for a good two years working for myself so I finally got it sorted went to see an accountant got a tax return and then had a mini panic because the amount of money that I owed the government was twice my monthly salary and I had no savings I was barely able to make ends meet as it was I had no idea literally how I was going to pay this tax bill unless I just spread it out over a long period of time so then within a month a contract to do consulting which I'd never done said look 
you're really good at this. Can we pay you to do it for us for this amount of time? And I said, yes. <laughs> and the amount of money they paid at me was exactly what I required for the tax bill. Number three, magical moment. Uh, I actually did a master's degree in London as well. And again, I was really struggling financially. And I actually, at one point, applied for a financial hardship loan. Sorry, this was in my first degree. And there was a, a grant that you could get if you were really, you know, destitute almost. <laughs> so I actually applied for this with a friend, uh, did all the paperwork, filled everything out, and I didn't really know if I'd be awarded anything. But I hoped I would, because it would really come in handy. And I was. The day I called up, I almost passed out actually because the amount of money that you could be awarded was the maximum amount was £1,500. So I was actually awarded £1,800. And I still don't know how that ha occurred because I didn't dare ask them in case they would realise they'd made a mistake. <laughs> but they paid me £1,800. And when the woman told me on the phone, I remember being on the verge of asking her, Are you sure? Is that one? 800 not 180 <laughs> because I couldn't understand how I could be awarded this when the the maximum was 300 pounds less than that but I didn't ask <laughs> again finders keepers and I, I was given that money and I was so grateful for it so that was just brilliant <laughs> and moment number five is more recent and it's not completely finished so I wasn't sure whether to include it but it was such a magical moment that it has to go in my power vault I just know it somewhere <laughs> so you can watch a video separately about it here it was not that long ago I had decided I wanted to invest more money into my empower network business I had no idea how I was going to create this money and I just sat down worked out the full amount and started asking questions to the universe you know how what's it going to take for me to create this and boom within 24 hours I'd negotiated a contract again out of the blue for three quarters of the amount and the first installments have started coming into my bank account so it's already starting to contribute to me to my business and to my life so it's in the power vault it's one of those magical super hero moments with money that I'm going to remember and I'm, I wore my special Tinkerbell t-shirt today to remind myself of this and I'm actually filming this in front of a super yacht let me show you you may have noticed it's got a helicopter on it and everything. And this yacht pulled up into the port of Nice a few days ago. It's about 50 times bigger than any of the yacht here. <laughs> it has its own helicopter. And it's pretty damn impressive. So I thought, what a great place to film in front of a super yacht. A super yacht for a list of superhero money moments. Thanks for watching and what are your moments? I would really like to hear about them because I know that they'll inspire me and they'll help me to know that more is possible and I'm sure help other people to know. So if you're inspired by this, make a video of your list and you can watch a webinar I did about how to use iMovie and make videos if you've never made one before. It's really not that difficult. So, you know, make one. <laughs> See ya.